we just wanted to come by real quick to Epcot. We're like just driving around. We're not getting out. There's a cop here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's answer. Like we just we're vloggers. We're vloggers, bro. Okay. I don't even know what day of virus quarantine we're in. So guys, I'm excited to do this vlog. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So we are gonna go drive around Orlando, drive around Disney, drive around downtown, see how empty the streets are because yesterday they finally put a curfew on Central Florida. So let's see if anybody's listening to it or what's going on because Floridians are not the smartest. Yes, that's what I'm saying about your kind, Paul. Yes, he was born here. <laughs> but I am excited to say we have a GoPro. Why? Well, it's not ours. My brother let me borrow it, and I wanted to give him a big shout out and say thank you to help improve our channel. I asked him for the GoPro originally, so that would be Orion's vlogging camera. I would put it around his pack, and we would walk around. And I had a plan for Ryan's birthday. You guys could see what he does on that day, like what we do. So you got my perspective and then Ryan's perspective. But that's not happening since we're in quarantine now. Sorry, guys. We did decide to do something different with it. We're going to try to put it on our car on top. So you guys can see from like an outside perspective while we are talking on in the inside of the car and what's going on. Now, we don't know much about GoPros. Paul told me to shut it off, you have to say, shut off. You have to literally yell at it, say GoPro off. I don't know why that mind blows me. I'm like, that's so weird. I'd rather have a button, not voice commanded. I know. It's a pretty cool GoPro though. I've never really messed with one, but yeah. It's what kind nice. of GoPro is it? It's a Hero 5. So What's the, Is that the latest? Maybe? I don't know. Last but. I heard was Hero 3, so I'm behind. I didn't even know there was a fifth. Mm -hmm. I will put a link to it if you guys like the filming, you guys like what you see. Maybe it works out. Now, we don't know if it fully charged. Um, we're going to work with the film that we got. Not a big deal. So, let us go set that up. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So, I have hooked up the car mount for this camera. Paul is still looking up the app for the GoPro 5 Hero. Am I saying that right? GoPro 5. Just Hero 5? GoPro Hero 5. That's just the that's just the model. So, Paul has figured it out. Got the app, I believe. My brother called in. Hope dumb thing. Yeah, because I had no idea how to connect to the Bluetooth and like this thing has like a touch screen on the back and there's like so many options to it that I have no idea how to use it, nor do I have any menu. Oh, that's cool. Oh look at you got it. Let's see if they see it. Uh, see? Yeah. I don't know why hey. that song came in my head. That's cool. Alright, so it works. Yay! Now Ooh. let us go drive about, shall we? We are here at a shopping center. And nobody is here, of course. Chick-fil-A is packed because Floridians are obsessed with this franchise. Don't ask me why, because it just... It's it amazing. It tastes basic, guys. It's, it's basic. Amazing. Paul's like all about it. There's literally no one here. Let me see. What about over there? Paul was able to get the GoPro going. He was nervous because he thought you had to connect it to the internet with the Bluetooth. Yeah, no, I, it was difficult to connect it, but I got it. Mm -hmm. Looks good, too. All right, guys, let's drive around and talk. So Michael's is still going strong. Tesla, Tesla tap. Me and Paul have a game. Whenever we see a Tesla, we say Tesla tap and hit each other. Yep. Now, um, yeah. Wow, Bed Bath Beyond is closed. Boss is closed. A lot of stores are, oh, they are closed. I'm thinking no one's just in them. No, they're closed. No, they're actually closed. This virus has everybody scared. And this is a Saturday, and like this is yeah. this, this shopping center is called the Loop. Um, we sometimes stop by here on our way to Disney, and you know, there's always places to eat here on our way to and from Disney. We come, and this is always packed. Yeah. And this is like it looks like it's like Monday morning at like 8 a.m. There's no one here curbside delivery a lot of stores are doing a lot more uh, delivery free delivery 
mm -hmm. no touch contact kind of thing. Ooh, no lie, guys. Me and Paul are millennials. Well, so. movie theaters closed. Oh, That's by order of the governor. Oh. Well, let me be honest, guys. Me and Paul are millennials. Uh, we love convenience, so we do eat out a lot. And or we did. <laughs> yeah, or we did. But now because of this virus, you know, I have been doing a lot more home cooking. We're at home. And it's nice because it gives us some quality time together. And uh, it makes me grow my culinary experience as well. So now we are on our way to Disney. Um, now I'm going to switch over to the GoPro hopefully and see how I do with that editing so you guys can check how empty these roads are. So for those of you who do not know, in Central Florida, uh, Disney and Universal Studios have actually closed all of their theme parks as well as all of their resorts. So Disney right now is a ghost town. No one's allowed in there. Well, it's not that you're not allowed in, but no one can stay in the resort. No one can go yeah. to the theme parks. Which is quite unique. Um, even like their construction projects that they had that we thought that, oh, well, since the park's going to be empty, they're going to, you know, proceed. proceed with their construction and get that out of the way. They paused all construction. Anything that's not 100% essential, they don't want anybody, you know, any employees there. Um, obviously, they're going to clean the park and they're yeah. going to disinfect and sanitize anything. But after that's done once or twice, that's it. There's not much else to do. Um, so we're actually going to go check that out, um, as well as hotels in the Orlando area. Um, there's a place called the Tourism District. Um, I don't know exactly where that is. I'm going to look that up. I didn't know there was a place called that. but Isn't that like International Drive? I'm assuming it's International Drive. Of course. Um, there's 450 hotels, and over 100 of them have already shut down, and they're laying off all of the employees because they cannot afford to... You know, pay all the employees and have the hotel be completely empty. Tesla. Oh, that was mine. That was so mine. See, we saw a Tesla. That's happening a lot in the state of Florida, in several counties in Central Florida, Orange County, Osceola County, um, Volusia, Volusia County. County, Seminole. They're starting to do curfews. The curfew starts at 11 p.m. and is lifted at 5 a.m. every single night. In Puerto Rico, which Janice has some family over there, they say their curfew starts at 9 p.m and lifts at 5 a.m. Yeah. Uh, if you're caught out in between those times, depending on the severity and if they've caught you multiple times, you can get fines of up to like one to $5,000 and even six months in jail. Obviously six months is like if you just keep doing it and you don't care, that's when you go to jail. Like so, the Floridian spring breakers? Yes. Oh, we don't care. Oh. Disney is a gigantic piece of property here, obviously. There's um, four parks on their property. There's four parks on their property. I do not remember how many resorts, but Water parks, including two water parks, too, so it's pretty big. Yeah, there's four theme parks, two water parks. They have Downtown Disney or Disney Springs. Golf courses. They have mini golf and regular full-size golf courses. They have many different resorts, monorail resorts, everything. like. And then they have smaller hotels and motels as well. Um, you don't ever have to leave Disney property for anything. So this is going to be crazy seeing this empty because in any given day, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on Disney property. Magic Kingdom alone holds, I think it's like 150,000 people on like a max day. So that's just one park. And Disney has a lot of backstage areas. They have lots of things that, you know, we know how to get through that are usually packed full of employees, guests, all sorts of stuff. And it's all gonna be empty, which is gonna be really cool and creepy. Pretty much, I think everything we see here today in Central Florida is gonna be creepy and empty because we have Universal, we have Disney, we're a tourist spot, so... There's lots of people, traffic, all the time, and everything is empty right now. So we're also excited to see how Orlando's turned into a ghost town like that. Which, don't get me wrong, we've seen it before with hurricanes, but then the next day it's back to normal. Yeah. You know, it's it's just like two or three days where people will settle down. No, 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 even sometimes Disney actually doesn't even close for the hurricanes. Depending on how bad the hurricane They've is. They've only, I think, we closed only twice. Yep, pretty much. I believe so. Yeah, Disney, Disney's 
crazy. They and you know what's the funny thing? Like the day after the hurricane, the park is open and it's cleaned 100. Yeah. percent They have crews come in overnight or whenever and they clean it so that it is spotless for the next day. Open again, full force. You know, making money. Yeah, it's insane. So this is going to be the longest closure of Walt Disney World ever. Me and Pa are thinking about buying some stocks. This is the emptiest we have ever seen. The There's park. two other cars on the road with us. One going that way, one going this way. That's it. Wow. This is like insane to see Disney in the middle of the day like this. Are we going towards Hollywood Studios? Uh, this is all the parks. This is the new ramp. They built okay. all the parks because before you remember it was right through there. Yeah. And you had to do like a sharp right. They redid this ramp That's for for all the three parks, and then the employees go that way. And then you see Star Wars. Let me see if I got a movie there. That's Star Wars right there. Star Wars Hotel. Not being built. And it's still connected to Star Wars Land? What is that land called? Yeah, Star Wars Land. The Galaxy's Edge. Oh! Like oh, it's like Star Wars World. <laughs> to come by real quick to Epcot we're like just driving around we're not getting out there's a cop here yeah. okay oh let's answer like we just we're vloggers we're vloggers bro okay let's do this he's looking at us like oh yeah we gotta pull over here we go no he said stop hello we're just driving around yeah Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Stay safe. Dang, this. Well, it's understandable they don't want people in their parks because imagine someone's gonna try to jump. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no. That's I would people. think that would happen. You really think people would do that? Yeah, there's people trying to sneak into the parks. All right. Well, you guys get a still small little clip of us going through Epcot. Let's see. You think they have like? Yeah, there's, there's security there and. Uh -huh. They they know that they have to boost security up to make sure that no one gets into the parks, obviously, because...
this is the heart of international for me. And Paul just pointed something out. You guys see that little fun ride? There's yeah, only one bad. couple on it. You yeah. can see them. Everything else is empty. You see, there goes their feet. There goes their feet. I see them. Uh, so this is very uh, unusual. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, there's some people over there. There's probably people walking. This is called Icon Park. So there's I of Orlando's right back there. There's a whole bunch of restaurants, yeah. little boutiques and stores and stuff like that. It's a cool place to walk around. I see. Is there, uh, there's some people there. Yeah, there's some. Not oh. many. This is this is empty compared to what it is on a normal yeah. weekend. That's me and Paul's favorite golf course right there. Yep. A mini golf. We are we're, we're we're mini golf people. Wow, I'm looking at a lot of these restaurants and they're saying delivery, takeout, but it's still dangerous, well, for us. It's still a risk because you gotta think that there's still people who are touching and contacting in with contact your with your food, and that's fine for some people, but I cannot take the risk of, you know, what happens if that person who's cooking the food has the virus, but they just don't show symptoms yet. Yeah. They could be working for two weeks serving all the food, and they could be just spreading it like crazy. Yeah. So it's one of those things that it's best to avoid and just eat at home. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this traveling vlog. If you are like us, we've been at home a lot, so at least you guys could drive around with us and feel like you're out and about. A little bit. So we have passed by Disney, Universal, International Drive. Well, you guys got to travel around with us and hopefully you guys got to see in our aspect how deserted Florida is starting to get. And try to be smart, guys. You guys know your limitations. If you guys feel like it's best to stay home, then stay home. Your health is more important than anything else. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this adventure out and about in Central Florida. We try not to get arrested. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, multiple times, possibly. It seemed like we could have, but we made it through. So, guys, for now, adieu and goodbyes.